Live from downtown Detroit, home of WDIV and Click on Detroit, Local 4 News at Noon starts now. Good Thursday afternoon. More snow, little to show, but it will be impactful. We'll talk about it coming right up. Plus, Governor Whitmer unveils her plans for the state this morning, and it includes extra attention on education. We'll tell you what else she wants to fund in her $62 billion budget. But we do begin with breaking news this afternoon. A death investigation is launched when a man is found dead in a Corktown building. That man's body was found this morning, and now investigators are trying to determine how he died. This is all happening at a building on Wabash, right near Bagley and Rosa Parks Boulevard in Corktown. Our Sean Lay is there. He's gathering new information from the scene. Good afternoon from Corktown. You can see Detroit police have shut off this street. Crime scene investigators are here. Homicide investigators are here. They're all interested in what is right behind this corner. We cannot show you what they are looking at, what neighbors are looking at. It's just too shocking. It's just too graphic, but here's what we know. There is a body, a dead body of a man hanging out of a building here in Corktown. Neighbors woke up to see this shocking sight. They called Detroit police. My source is telling me right now that they are working this, that the Detroit police are working this as a possible break in, that the man was climbing through the window, cut an artery in doing so, and he bled to death. Now we're also speaking with people who know this man. They believe he was seeking shelter from the cold. They were thinking this morning that he froze to death. Everybody kind of watches each other in the neighborhood yeah, yeah, and watches yeah. who is on the streets and helps who's yeah. on the streets. Um, the neighborhood's changing and things are better, but um, yeah. it's, a, it's very sad and it's unfortunate. Now again, this man apparently did not freeze to death. He may have been seeking shelter from last night's bitter cold, but it does appear that he cut himself and bled to death trying to get into this building. Much more on this coming up later on Local 4 News. In Corktown, Sean Lay, Local 4. Sean, thank you for the update there. Let's get to our other top story right now. Of course, we're talking about the weather and all the snow that we woke up to. We're getting a, a little bit of a break right now, but apparently it's going to be returning tonight. Meteorologist Brandon Rue has a closer look at what we can expect, Brandon. We do have some parts of the viewing area getting a new batch of snow here moving into Livingston County up toward Flint here. That's a pretty modest or moderate return as it's heading from southwest and northeast, primarily into our north zone. Temperatures as we look live here at Ann Arbor still in those middle 20s. So it does present a concern, especially some rural areas with these cooler temps, some wet roadways still a little icy or freezing. These northeast winds can also create some lakeshore flooding on the east side. Wind chills have been in the teens and will stay in the teens for a little while here and we're not done with the snow. 27 on our way to near freezing with a few spotty snow showers through the afternoon and then after 3 or 4 p.m. I think we'll get another wave or two could impact the evening drive. So some freezing on the roads, a couple of rounds of snow to impact some commutes to come and Evrod will talk about that plus a weekend storm on the way. All right, Brandon, thank you. Governor Gretchen Whitmer just unveiled her proposal for the next state budget, and our main focus is education. Our Sandra Ali joins us now live from the Local 4 Newsroom with more on the governor's plan and vision, Sandra. Evrod, good afternoon to you. Good afternoon, everyone. Let's talk about the budget. The $61.9 billion budget recommendation for 2021 really focuses on th three key areas, education, health, and the environment. And here are some of the big takeaways. Let's go ahead and start with education. And more money will go to districts that need it. There's a call for increased funding to the Great Start program. This is a program that provides free preschool for eligible four year olds. Millions will go to help adults learn skills and trades. The plan also calls for teacher reimbursement for out of pocket supply costs. Then next, let's talk about health. Some of the highlights here include expanding access to child care, resources to fight the opioid crisis and more money to the lead poisoning prevention fund. And finally, the environment. The governor says she wants more resources to protect the Great Lakes and funding for the environment contamination rapid response. We know we don't have to think any farther than 696 Madden, Madison Heights Green Ooze. 
Right now, the governor is holding a roundtable to talk about more of her ideas. Our business editor, Rod Maloney, is going to break it all down for us coming up on Local 4 News starting at 5. In the meantime, you can read the full budget proposal. It's on clickondetroit.com. Everett? All right. Thank you, Sandra. President Trump is speaking this afternoon, claiming victory after he was acquitted yesterday in his impeachment trial. Earlier this morning at the National Prayer Breakfast, he held up a newspaper there. You can see the headline. It reads acquitted. NBC's Tracy Potts has reaction to the vote from Capitol Hill. President Trump embracing victory. When they impeach you for nothing, uh, then you're supposed to like them. It's not easy, folks. And denouncing Democrats at the National Prayer Breakfast this morning. My family, our great country, and your president have been put through a terrible ordeal by some very dishonest and corrupt people. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi just a few feet away, taking an indirect hit. Nor do I like people who say, I pray for you, when they know that that's not so. His remarks just hours before an address to the nation. He is hereby acquitted. Every Senate Republican voted to acquit the president on obstruction of Congress, on abuse of power, one defected. Mr. Romney, Mr. Romney, guilty. Utah's Mitt Romney becomes the first senator in history to break with his party on impeachment. That what the president did was wrong, grievously wrong. Republicans declaring this months-long effort over. It's time to move on. But with protests in Washington and across the country, <laughs> Democrats are vowing to continue investigating the president's behavior. If the president does it in three months, they should impeach him again. The partisan divide even deeper this morning with President Trump forever impeached, but keeping his job. Ladies and gentlemen. So now President Trump becomes the first American president to be impeached, but also stay in office and run for re-election. Tracy Potts, NBC News, Washington. Tracy, thank you. A reward is now being offered for a man wanted in a deadly shooting in River Rouge. Crime Stoppers offering $5,000 for any information that leads to the arrest of this man. This is 40-year-old Kenyel Brown. Now, the shooting happened last week at a home on Beechwood, and police say that Brown was involved in the shooting that left two people dead and another person hurt. If you have any information, please give Crime Stoppers a call. You can remain anonymous. The state's largest brewery has reopened its Detroit tap room. The doors to Founders Brewing opened this morning at 11 a.m. The tap room was closed last year in response to a former employee filing a racial discrimination lawsuit against the company. A settlement was later reached between the brewery and that employee. Founders saying that profits over the next three years from the tap room will be donated to charities and community organizations here in the city. UAW members working for Fiat Chrysler will receive more in profit sharing checks this year. The automaker announced this morning that 44,000 workers will receive $7,280. Last year, FCA workers received an average of $6,000. Those checks are expected to go out on March 13th, and the payments were part of last year's contract negotiations between, the, between FCA and the union. A nationwide vaping ban starts today and is aimed at getting kids to put down those e-cigarettes. We'll tell you what you'll need or what you'll no longer find in stores and what's still available. That's coming up next. But first, the coronavirus crisis grows worldwide as thousands of people are being quarantined on two cruise ships because of exposure.